That's a dope. So this paper is 14 by 14. So you're going to find the middle, which is going to be 7 inches, and you're going to put a little mark. You can do that on all four sides. Make sure when you start measuring, you start at zero. Should be touching the edge of the paper. So now you're going to connect these so that you create an X intersection. Do you need to see the nurse? So after you have this X intersection, you're going to take the protractor and this center it, little hole is going to go over the intersection and there's also two lines here that go horizontal and vertical so that goes right over that center intersection like that so you can see on the protractor here it should line up with the zero and over here it should line up with the 180 so if we're just talking right now about the numbers on the outside so 0 180 the middle line here should be right at 90 degrees that helps you know that everything is nice and straight so we're going to be making this whole thing into 12 sections so we can do 360 degrees divided by 12 or since we're only doing half of it right now we could do 6 divided by 180 so it's 180 degrees we need six sections. So how many times can six go into 18? Mm -mm, four. Wait, no. Six is not into 18. Three. Three times. So we're going to count by 30. And then we still have this zero, so we got to bring him up. So this, because this would be 18. 0, 0, so we'd have 30. So we're going to start here at 0. We're going to go over to 30 and put a mark. Then 30 plus 30. 60. So we're going to go to 60, put a mark. 60 plus 30. 90. And we already have one there, so 90 plus 30. 120 plus 30. Okay, so that's half of my design. Now I'm going to flip the protractor over and do the same thing on this bottom side. So I'm going to just go 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. And then I'm going to take a straight edge and connect the corner, the inside, the middle, and the mark I just made and line them up and go all the way out to the edge and I can also use this mark on this side to help me make sure that I'm right on the money Then I can come over here and do the same thing use this dash the center point and this dash line it up draw that line out to the edge I'm gonna keep doing that until you have all 12 sections So, unlike before when we had 8 sections, and they were all exactly the same, when we have 12 sections, the corner pieces are different than the middle pieces. Now, if we cut this into a circle, that, of course, we could make them all the same, but I want to use the whole piece of paper. So, I don't want to cut that off. So next you're going to use tracing paper 
and trace one of the shapes. And right now, to get started, it doesn't matter if you do the corner or one of the triangles. And just whichever one you want to do. So I'm going to do the corner first. You have two choices when you do the corner. You can keep the whole thing and draw your design that fills up this whole space. Or you could divide it in half and draw half of it and then flip over it over to make the other side so it's symmetrical. So if you choose to divide it in half, you're going to go from that center line to the corner and just kind of right down the middle. And you would draw your design on this half and then flip it over to put it over here. Or like I said, you could just draw one big design. So whatever you decide to put here, let's see. It can just be kind of abstract lines, or it could be a picture of something. I'm going to kind of go... Use that center line a little bit. Until you get done. Mm, I don't have a deadline in mind. Whenever I see that we're getting to the point where we need to be finishing them up, I will let you know at least two days ahead of time. But at this point, we're just kind of getting started. What I'm really going to be interested in is how you paint these. Because this design, while fun and does give us something cool to paint, is not as important as the values that you choose. Like, I want to make sure that everything is a tint or shade of the right color. So since I'm going to make mine symmetrical, I decided I'm going to go ahead and just fold this over, try to line up the corners, get that edge lined up. Well, we're, that'll be a little bit still. Cause I'm firing the kiln today, but uh, it's with sixth graders stuff. And there's going to be two loads for them, and then at least two for you guys, if not three. So it's going to be a little bit before we get to the glazing. Yeah. So, did you, have you Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The sixth grades is in there now. It's in there today. So, you're off yet? Well, no, but it's halfway across the building. You know how it is. Gosh, this is how long this hour? Yeah. How much longer is it? Because you have lunches in this hour, so... So then, tracing paper, you're going to make sure that you have plenty of graphite on the one side, and then you, that's going to be the side that you want to turn over and put into the corner, Yep. so that you can line up the corners on the corners. And then you just trace right over your lines. And then this will give you graphite on the back so you can use both sides of the paper. Thank you. 
Once you have your corners done, you're going to do that in all the four corners. Then you have these two triangles, which we're going to do the same. We're just going to do a reflection of. So I'm going to put the tracing paper right on top of it, though, so I can make sure it matches up with the designs I have in my corner. Because I want it to be a continuous design. I don't want these to be like their own little thing. I want them to... So continue like wherever this line is I want a line here doesn't have to do the same thing could be a totally different kind of line but something should be there that's matching up to it meeting up with it I still have a lot of blank area here. I think it's probably that guy with the ladder that's walking around fixing stuff. I feel like someone's always fixing something. Well, yeah. There is always someone fixing something, I think. That way, you know, school work. Imagine you like bottles. Oh. 
I've seen some that people have made into like apartment buildings and stuff. So you just keep going with this design, keep tracing until you have all the corners done and all the middles done. And then you're going to add color with paint and you're going to do it as a color wheel. That's why we wanted 12 sections. So you pick one section, pick a color. So on this one I chose yellow, put my boldest straight out of the bottle color in the middle and then had to get lighter as it came down towards the center so just adding to white so a little bit of yellow into white and then a little more yellow a little more yellow and then I reused the brighter yellow reused the white yellow and then up here is tints of white meaning that or shades of white meaning that it's yellow with a little bit of black in it. So tints, the color plus white, shade, the color plus black. With Whenever you mix anything, you're always going to go with the darker color into the light because you don't need very much to change the white into a color. So you don't want to start, you don't want to put tons of white in yellow. That would be time consuming and you wait, make way too much paint. You're only painting this small section. Brayden Odell and Jason Williams, please report to the Commons. Brayden Odell and Jason Williams, please report to the Commons. 